We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, continuing to fight to hold support and retest key resistance levels and breaking out to newer highs. And in today's volatility, our SPY buy at 10.05 a.m. sent out a bull indicator from that moment forward. Inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. Full strength there on 42 vision and call options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity in edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with the SPY, finding support here back above 490, breaking out towards 493, finding support there and breaking out towards the 495, 496 level. And we're going to talk about the key levels I would watch going into next week. And what's going on with the inflow versus outflow. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run today was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run today was from our apple bot our apple bot sent out a bull indicator at 9 41 a.m and from that moment forward inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 250 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump to these charts here we are with the spy the s p 500 index doing a full transition here from red bars to bright green bars and if this is your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips the rips to the dips and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our born bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index back under a bull indicator here at the 490 level and canceling out that bear indicator that popped up in the pre-market at 492. Now, yesterday it had a very strong bull indicator that lasted from 484 up to 491 492 area and now it rejected and quickly after it got canceled by a bull indicator in the live volatility at the 490 area broke through 493 used it as support and did the next leg up and broke through 495 hits 496 and here it is fighting to stay above the 493 area and get back up towards 495 right currently sitting at 494.25 in the after hours so we're going to break down what key levels i would watch going into next week and what's going on with the inflows as well so very strong move here new all-time highs new 52 week high after all the volatility that's happened here throughout the week coming back up erasing it and we're at new levels up here and like i've stated every time we hit a new high it's no surprise 
when these pullbacks happen because it needs to catch a breath, right? Eventually, the support won't hold and it may break, right? That's a possibility and that's something to not ignore. But quickly, when these supports are found and bull indicators and strength comes back up, I would not ignore it. And the trend continues, right? That's what's been happening here throughout the last two days. And when we zoom out throughout the last several weeks and a month, right? So here we are back up at new highs, zoom out to one hour. We could see a bull indicator holding true since yesterday. This pullback, yes, it hit red bars, but no bear indicator, right? And this bull indicator continuing this staircase effect to the upside, broke that down in yesterday's video, how important it was for it to hold full transition from the dip area to multiple rip area so far. And here we are still under a bull indicator. I'll be watching if a bear indicator pops up on any pullback. But if this bull indicator continues to hold in the bigger picture and it finds support, it will continue to dominate, right? So when we zoom into the 15 minute, we could see here the volatility as well, right? Bull indicator that actually dominated all day yesterday after the chop. It found support, brought itself up. Bear indicator, full transition, hits a dip area, finds support. Bull indicator here as well at 490 and full strength here all day. And finding support up here again to break back above the 493 level and head towards the next resistance of 495 and breaking out to a high here of 496 so far. And it's finding to stay up here even though it's hit red bars. Now, no bear indicator in the volatility and that's something to not ignore. If this bull indicator continues to hold, this staircase effect may continue to dominate. But if a bear indicator pops up, I would not ignore that and I'll be watching those outflows as well. Now I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow and break down the key levels I would watch going into next week. Here we are with the SPY stock, the S&P 500 index, finding support as we broke down here at the 488, 489 level. Outflow slightly broke through and it was a sharp drop, but it didn't continue and collapse because these outflows did not dominate for too long, right? It quickly right after brought itself back up and inflows dominated all day hitting highs up here of 5.72, and that's where things started to slow down, right? Those were the highs from yesterday, and those were the highs today. Full strength of inflows, full strength on 42 vision, bull indicator followed as well, and here we are with it, outflow sharply dropping, right? But inflows are still above. It's going to be crucial for it to stay above because if it does cross, it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into these charts. Now, when we go ahead and zoom out and look at this from the one hour, same thing. Outflows never dominated, even though they turned red. Inflows were still above and dominating over the chart. And then it brought itself back up and green, hitting highs here so far of 5.55. And it's going to be crucial for this to stay above the midpoint and continue higher to continue reflecting and justifying any move to the upside. Now, when we go ahead and zoom into the 15 minute, we could see those outflows. They crossed over in the pre-market, brought itself back up. And in the after hours, it's really close here to the midpoint. And I'm going to be watching if these outflows continue lower or will they break back above to justify any move to the upside. Now, if these outflows continue lower and bring that weakness over into the 30 minute and bear indicators start to pop up, the first support is 492. And then below that is 489. And then I'll be watching the 4750 area. Now, to the upside, it's going to be crucial and critical. And this is something I'm going to be watching very closely here going into next week is for these inflows to pick back up, switch to green and pull up the 30 minute with it, switching to green as well, continuing the staircase effect here and pushing up and justifying that move with those bull indicators and inflows dominating. And the first resistance is the recent high of 496 and then above that i'll be watching the 498 area and then above that comes the 500 level i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below in the comment section do you think 500 will hit and these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside bow and bear indicators are going to be crucial and the inflow versus outflows i'll be watching them very closely as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money